Hi, welcome to Video Tips. Today I'm going to be talking to you about video in the classroom and showing you how easy this can be. The first recommendation I would do would be to either talk to a colleague who's done this before or come up and talk to us in the Teaching Centre. Once you get started, you only need about a couple things to get you started with. One will be a camera, the other will be a microphone. Both of these you might be able to find on either your laptop or your desktop if you have a built-in camera and mic. Uh, if you want to kind of step up the audio quality, I would recommend starting with the audio first. Um, we have these snowball mics that just plug in with USB into your computer. Uh, you can get these for under $100 at Best Buy or Future Shop. The nice thing about them is you can position them close to you and still be off camera so people don't realize you've got them. Um, if you want to increase the quality of your video, you may want to consider buying an external camera. We have these USB cameras that again you can get at Future Shop or Best Buy for under, under $100. And they plug in USB as well too. Uh, so once you kind of have the, those two things set up, then you want to find a location. Um, I, behind me I'm just in an office and I've got a white background, which I like, over a bookshelf or something with a busy background. It tends to distract the viewer less if they don't really have anything to distract them with. Uh, so if, you want it, if your lighting is not the best in your office, which may be the case, um, first of all, I'd recommend don't shoot out a window. Uh, you'll kind of get a silhouette effect of yourself and you won't be able to see yourself very well. So, you know, if you can use a natural light to help you. Um, if, you if you're still a little bit dark, uh, one of the things that I've used on video shoots before are desk lamps. Um, I've kind of positioned them off, just off to the camera. You know, you may have to take the lampshade off if they're not quite bright enough. But something as easy as that can help you improve the quality of, the, of your production. If this is still a little bit too daunting for you, feel free to come up and talk to us. Uh, we can set up a, an office in our a room, somewhere near our office, get it all set up for you, use our equipment, we'll videotape it, do the podcast for you. So that might be one to consider. Uh, yeah, and then, so once you've kind of done it, uh, then you have to do a little bit of editing. Um, if you try and get it done in one take, then your editing is minimal. You just have to kind of trim the beginning and ends of, of your clip, and then we upload it. Um, if you're using it for your class, I recommend generally using YouTube. Uh, the nice thing with YouTube now is they offer an unlisted ver video, so you need the link to actually view the video, so that way some, somebody searching in YouTube can actually find it that way. Uh, then if you want a little bit more security as well too, you can either email the link to your students or if you want you can embed that into your Moodle. Once in the Moodle then it's just it's it's within the page and students can watch it. So in a nutshell that's kind of video. It's not as difficult as people make it out to be. Uh, generally the setup should take you I'm gonna say you know five maybe ten minutes. Uh, the nice thing is that you may be able to once you get it set up is do multiple podcasts at once kind of helps save on the setup time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to stop by the Teaching Center and talk to us. Thank you.